Scarves on, eyebrows done, bare face. That can only mean one thing. It's time for a get ready with me. Let's get started with today's video. I have this like bomb.com thing to share with you guys dossier I don't know if you guys have heard of it but I'm partnering with them for this video and I'm so excited because I have heard of them and I've been waiting honestly waiting for them to reach out and they did okay so iconic sense designer quality no markups describes them the packaging is so cute look at that and it comes with a little card. Basically, if you guys don't know what Dossier is or who they are, they're a perfume, a luxury perfume brand, but it's an alternative. So instead of paying like $500 for Baccarat, they literally have the same scent, of course, with a different name. You know, don't want to do copyright issues. But it's like a third of the price for some of the perfumes. So all those luxury perfumes that you see in like the Sephora's or the Ulta's and you're like, man, you know, this costs $200, $300 for this small half an ounce. I wonder if I can find something similar for cheaper. You can actually go on their website and they literally will tell you in the notes um, section of each luxury perfume that it is similar to Baccarat or Le Labo or you know Jo Malone um, so those are all the luxury brands that I love receiving your package it'll look like this so nice like look at this packaging you guys it's so nice one thing so this is the first one is the woody sandalwood this is actually um, basically mimicking the I believe the Santanol Le Labo Santanol 33 which is a very infamous, I have been wanting this scent for a long time for the house, but the candles cost like, I'm not kidding, I think the big one is like $500 or something crazy. And I'm like, man, I really wanna smell it, but I don't wanna pay, you know, $100 for the sample. And so they, they saw this and I jumped on it. So the notes for this are violet leaves, cardamom, middle notes are orris, ambrox, cedarwood, and cipral. Base notes are musk and sandalwood again, and amber, and it's called woody sandalwood. I think, and this is a unisex scent, but the best part of this, you guys, look at this. It's a magnetic lid to me that's top-notch packaging quality because i hate it when the lids just pop off like this is magnetic so it literally is not going anywhere i just sprayed that in my face <laughs> i love i have a secret i love layering men's slash unisex scents um on me i will literally buy sometimes men's cologne and layer it with a really sweet perfume and when it mixes I get the most compliments when I wear men's cologne or unisex scents. It's crazy, but it's true. So whatever my pheromones are made of, they do well with that. And oh my gosh, even this, I know this is technically not a use for it, but even using this as a, like a room spray, this smells very sexy and very unisex. I also got another one. Um, so same packaging and they do these for each individual ones so you'll get little boxes like this and this one is the ambery saffron i am so excited about this one because this one is supposed to mimic i believe it's on the card um baccarat rouge 540 perfume so the baccarat perfumes these are the top of the top so expensive so pricey and literally you're paying a third of the price probably even like a sixth of the price it's probably even less um and seriously this is amazing the notes for this one are saffron orange blossom middle notes are jasmine plum and cedarwood and base notes are oak moss fir balsam and amber this one smells good as well it basically has um like a sweeter scent, but it's not too sweet. This one is also unisex. I love unisex scents. Oh my gosh, yeah. This one, I can tell this is gonna be a great layering scent. This one paired with like a vanilla or something that um, isn't as strong, like a sweet smell. Oh my gosh, I'm already thinking of layering this one with some of the perfumes that I have. 
This one is like when you walk into the room, you smell expensive, but it's not like stinky. And these are highly concentrated. Like this one is concentrated at, um, I believe, 18%, but it smells so like this. You only need one spray. You don't need a thousand. So this one is also really good. So if you have been looking for Tom Ford, Coco Chanel, any, any, honestly, any perfume brand, luxury perfume brand, go on their website and look for an alternative that's literally way less, especially with inflation right now because of Omarion and Optimus Prime, same thing, whatever. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly, the inflation levels. So definitely head on over and um, check out and let me know your favorite scents uh, because these are awesome. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking the link to watch today's video. Without further ado, let's get started and rolling into today's video um it has been a century <laughs> since i've done a get ready with me and i'm gonna go ahead and focus on doing a more of a mommy get ready with me um type of style because doing two hour faces is like out of question like i don't do that anymore and it's not <laughs> realistic um maybe once the kids get a little bit older but the twins are just like they're 11 months now and honestly, yeah, they're not sitting still for anything. Um, having, giving birth to kids or just even a kid is so hard. I am gonna go to my old school method of the dot method. If you have followed me since the beginning of time, this method creates like the best looking foundation for me. And it's easy because it helps me do a quick face because all I have to do is like blend out the dots. And I'm going to be just speeding through this. Taking a beauty blender and I'm just going to beat my face. Okay, so gonna be adding some concealer. Um, I have been having the worst allergies, so I am gonna just let you guys know up front, I'm skipping eyeshadow today and probably eyeliner just because I'm having, I might do some eyeliner actually, we'll see. I've been having the worst allergies and for me, my allergies are in my eyes, so it constantly feels like there's something in my eye. Um, getting over being sick with sinus infection and bronchitis, so love that for me. Still haven't got Optimus Prime, so love that for me as well. And this is the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Hazelnut. I believe it's still their darkest shade. They might Actually, they might have gone darker. I feel like I saw one that's darker. Being a mom now is just, it's so crazy. Um, I'm about to have two one-year-olds. I'm planning their first birthday party. We already did the invite. I'm about to go speak with the cake, um, with the baker, the bakery for the cake, um, the cakes and the mini treats that I have planned. We have family flying in and it's only gonna be close family because of obviously, Omarion, Optimus Prime, all that. So I can't have, I wanted to have hire like a full on like party planner and do like a full on extravaganza, but that was last year when I thought things would be different by this year. And I'm just learning that, especially working in the hospital environment, things may never go back. But anyways, this is more focused about me. Um, I've been, trying to really get back to doing things that I love. And I think the consensus is, now I'm gonna go in with um, Shape Tape in the shade Deep, just back underneath my eyes to kinda get rid of um, any bags that I have, because I have a lot. <laughs> Team No Sleep. Just a teensy bit of tan deep this is not my shade but sometimes i like to add it just like a little bit over that to just kind of wake me up i have been working on like getting back to myself and just like focusing on a lot of myself i think it's so hard as women we lose ourselves when it comes to 
you know, even dating and then getting married and changing your name if you choose to do so. And then everything is kind of very traditional. Our society bases a lot of our stuff off of, you know, your husband's name and your husband's stuff. And, and things have been changing for quite some time, but especially I think during recent years, a lot of it is finding our independence from traditional standard. I'm still like, um, I'm still trying to heal from that and really kind of hone in who I am. And I realize that things are different and <clears throat> it's okay to be different. It's okay that it's changed. I think I freaked out at first, but you know what I realize is even if I didn't get pregnant and have the twins, I would still be a different person today than I was, you know, last year. So um, for me, when things happen and I don't, I'm a control freak. And when they happen and I'm like, what? Like the pregnancy wasn't planned. We had actually planned to be pregnant now, not, <laughs> not then. And, um, it just freaked me out, but I'm so happy to be a mom. I, Lewis and I are so blessed. We love them. Like we fight over them. Like who gets to hold who and, and who gets to spend time with who and who, you know, not fight like as in like, you know, but we like, we're so obsessed with them. It's great. I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with my Fenty powder. Um, this is in the shade Cashew. And honestly, Rihanna, you are the most beautiful pregnant woman I've ever met, ever seen. Well, I haven't met her, but in my head I have. And I wish I looked like Rhi. I look like a basket of biscuits compared to her. I know, you shouldn't compare. Don't compare. I just did a faux pas. I'm one, I don't like to say yes, but I realized after going to therapy and things, I need to say yes more and stop trying to be superwoman because I can only do so much. And I've just been learning too that um, you need to, one of the biggest self-care things that you need to do as a new mom is taking those moments to take a shower and brush your teeth. Um, at first, Lewis and I were like literally zombies. Like, you know, I was healing postpartum, so things were different when I first gave birth. But um, we make it a point like every single day. I, this sounds crazy, but like shower time, you time. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Okay, I'm gonna go um, to the store by myself. Okay, I'm gonna go do this. Like that 30 minutes of just uninterrupted time really makes a huge difference in my postpartum anxiety. I haven't necessarily been suffering from postpartum depression, but mainly postpartum anxiety where I'm anxious about everything and just, you know, the boys and I get, like if I hear them cry sometimes I like get triggered and I think something's happening and they're just crying but I my mind is like racing because I'm scared and so just praying and like honestly being on top of my spirituality things and really just getting through it day by day with Lewis has really helped I don't think there's a magic um, key for any of that um, so for bronzer let me hide the mirror. I'm gonna kind of use, this is the Fenty powder in the shade 470. This is supposed to be my powder because I need a new pressed powder and it's too dark. And this is like the third time I bought it. So instead of taking it back again and exchanging, I just said, forget it. Oops, and I'm just going to use it as bronzer. But yeah, so just making sure that you are, um, just really brushing your teeth, showering, because um, those are both signs of like depression and anxiety, and um, really using whoever you can. Now, we are a military family, if you don't know, um, so we don't have family um, near us, really. Like, the closest person is my mom, which is three hours away, and that's so close for me because I'm used to living in like opposite um, states. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush in the same powder that I've been using just to like contour my nose because you guys know I love a good contour. Um, I normally do liquid contour, but if I'm ever short on time, powder is just so much easier. Um, okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use this um, baked blush in Brick House. For highlight, I'm gonna be using my favorite highlighter. Um, which is the California Glow 
highlighter in shade Del Mar and it just makes my it makes me look like I have um wet skin in person so if you like the wet look instead of like the shimmer look this is for you and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of setting spray so I'm gonna go ahead and do some mascara um, this is the they're real normally I do 25 coats of mascara I'm not exaggerating um, but for mommy get ready with me you're um, you don't have as much time well I don't have as much time so I'm gonna do like probably 10 <laughs> 10 coats of this and then to finish up this basic mommy look because you look glowy look fresh hydrated um, I'm gonna be putting on my Bobbi Brown lipstick and this is just the most neutral color it's just a simple rum raisin <laughs> um, it's just a simple lipstick to give like a flush of color and honestly I'm I'm more about lip balm these days because it doesn't get anywhere okay and this concludes my get ready with me for being a new mommy a quick one I think overall just in general I feel like I'm just an elevated version of myself and honestly the biggest advice like I said is just taking a shower putting makeup on or doing something that you normally do exercising I wouldn't say overindulge but eating go ahead girl and eat that cupcake it's gonna be okay you're gonna lose the weight or maybe you like how you should enjoy your body how it is but um i know for me a big part of my suffering was oh my gosh weight loss weight loss weight loss and i was focused on weight loss way too early like literally right out the gate and i just realized that my focus needs to be on being a good mom and getting well mentally and understanding my new role instead of so much on like the outer appearances so just doing this really honestly does give me a great pick me up and i feel like i look like myself and you know it's just a process i wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching thank you to dossier for partnering with me for this video i love the fragrances they're so good go ahead and click the link down below to view the website and also i will link below the fragrances that i personally chose and hopefully you guys check them out and try them if you do let me know your favorite scents or if you already use them comment your favorite scents okay thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in my next video bye